Calvary has been my uh, church home for years and years and years, long before I ever actually became a congregant, long before I became a member of the parish, um, which I suppose I did about 10 years ago. But even in the years prior to that, it was and, and remains, I think, um, sort of the mother church, if you will, for all of us Episcopalians uh, in, in West Tennessee. Um, it's interesting that we have a wonderful cathedral, uh, but almost the cathedral of the heart uh, is Calvary. And I think much of, of, my, of my sense of affection for Calvary, as well as my um, admiration, is the fact that it has managed to be the ecclesial, across all denominational lines, it has managed to be the ecclesial bridge, I think, uh, between the secular community, especially the economic secular community, uh, and the ecclesial community. It's become that place where one can talk God uh, without having to become uh, ooey gooey about it, uh, and can ask questions and then can go away and, and not be bothered until one chooses to come back again. Uh, so it's an important bridge. There is an attitudinal thing that moves me about Calvary, that makes me happy to say I'm a congregant or I'm a parishioner uh, uh, at Calvary. And, th and that's, the, that's the fact that it really is the bridge. It's got that strange thing of being able to connect the secular with the deeply uh, divine and devout. It's an important outpost of the kingdom of God, uh, as well as an important part of the Episcopal communion uh, in West Tennessee and in, in probably the Mid-South. I think it would be a mistake to restrict it just to, to West Tennessee. It's a great heritage we have. Uh, and whatever happens, I hope that heritage will continue uh, to grow and to inform our grandchildren and our great grandchildren as they come along and become the Calvary of, of, of the next of the closing decades of this century.